Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to the massive attack music video Unfinished Sympathy. This video is going to focus on media language and representation and it's going to be particularly relevant for you if you are studying OCR A-level media studies as it is currently one of the set music videos for study on that specification. The video opens with a combination of shots that feel quite masculine and aggressive. We get the kind of silver balls rotating in the hand, tracks out to see a dog straining on a leash um, and it kind of cranes up and we see kind of this quite aggressive style looking gang um, and I suppose with the combination of the graffiti behind them all of this acts as quite easy to understand signifiers that this is perhaps people that are involved in crime, uh, the fact that the street is quite a dangerous place and fairly typical representations of men uh, within this. The camera moves across and down the street um, and you're seeing kind of rubbish uh, juxtaposed with children playing. So quite kind of shocking imagery of young kids who are often thought of as being quite vulnerable, along with kind of quite dilapidated, distressed or vandalised areas. So this isn't a glamorous, utopian look at street life. This is quite a gritty, real look at street life. And this is emphasised when we see the image of the child holding the gun, uh, very reflective of, of course, gun culture within America um, and just sort of maybe shows and represents the loss of innocence for children. We're getting a lot of themes within this music video of life and death within this particular area of America. So there's images of a hearse in the background connoting death and funerals. We're seeing images of um, uh, children, of baby clothes in a shop. And later on, we see images of a cot as well. So um, lots of imagery that is talking about life all the way from birth through to death. It's at this point that we see the singer of this song. She's wearing a kind of, kind of quite a strong black outfit, makes her seem very powerful. It's also quite a serious outfit as well. So suggests the serious themes of the song. The camera tracks her as she walks towards us. And that connotes that she's quite powerful and a very important part of this kind of mini narrative. We see a variety of people behind her, in front of her, walking. Um, and these people give us a bit of a snapshot, I guess, of the diverse, cosmopolitan, rich life of the street that she is in. So we see, for example, a man uh, on a skateboard on the floor. I suppose the idea is that perhaps he um, has had his legs amputated or perhaps he was born without legs. So this representation of disability, um, you know, being on a skateboard, um, we often think of them as being uh, perhaps somebody that he is uh, begging on the street maybe for money, seeing him as kind of perhaps vulnerable. The fact that he's following her suggests that she's important. Is she somebody that could help him perhaps? But she passes him without looking, without acknowledging, and perhaps that connotes this idea that we often do pass by people without really taking in what's going in around us. And in particular, we often ignore people who are in need of help. Of course, assuming that the man needs help may be a reflection of our own assumptions about disability. Perhaps this man doesn't need help at all. And the fact that they've included somebody with an obvious disability um, is just increasing the diversity. We actually do see someone later on in a wheelchair as well um, and somebody limping along. So there are people with various injuries, ailments, uh, disabilities and abilities. Um, and so quite a rich uh, representation of ability within the video. A lot of this feels very real. Um, you get people handing out leaflets on the street. There's what looks like some kind of biker gang. And we often associate bikes and bikers with being part of kind of aggressive or violent gang culture. Um, there's a kind of woman coming out of a shop in a black dress, perhaps a little bit sexualized. We walk past um, somebody wearing a kind of Native American style costume. And there's men drinking in the street in the daytime, perhaps suggesting they're alcoholics. Their alcohol is in paper bags. Um, so it's kind of looking at the kind of grim realities of life. This is just everyday life. It's not glamorous. It's not utopian. It's what life is like. And there are problems. It is showing those problems of whether it's homelessness, alcoholism, you know, disability, whatever it might be. This video is showing all of it um, and it's not uh, it's not idealizing it or glamorizing it.
The fact that we're seeing different cultures as well and ethnicities, you know, we're seeing the Native American culture represented within the costume. We're seeing somebody carrying what looks like a whole dead animal, perhaps into a restaurant from a refrigerated van. So we're perhaps seeing different cultures um, embraced within the video and, and perhaps showing that this area of America is quite diverse culturally too. Actually, when they filmed this video, some of the people in the background are extras that they paid and, you know, they had a particular job to do. Um, and some of the people, um, the band actually said, just couldn't be bothered to get off the street. And of course, they didn't have the money at the time to close down the whole street. So there are people in this video who are just actually normal, everyday people who just happen to end up in the background of the music video. Um, so I guess that adds to the sense of realism of this. We see an older couple kissing and hugging here, perhaps adding to these themes of life um, and ageing and uh, not just the serious, more pessimistic side to life, but also the more optimistic, nice side of life. We see a group of youths throwing kind of fruit and vegetables around. Some may interpret this as young people having fun and being silly and lighthearted. And I guess some people might see this as young people being a bit wild and you know, breaking the rules and being a bit um, disrespectful, perhaps. The camera shot is mostly in shallow focus, which means that she is in focus and everything else is out of focus behind her. And I guess that ties in with the fact that she's not taking any notice of the things that are happening around her or the people, uh, perhaps reflecting that idea that we are pretty oblivious of the world around us, that we're not really looking or taking anything in, and that we often don't care about the things that are happening in our communities. If you look at the editing in this music video, the vast majority of students will tell me this music video has no editing, which I do appreciate. But what you can say is that it is one long take. It is not cut up into smaller takes. It's not action matched. It is one long take. And one long take is often quite uncomfortable. It's quite unusual. It makes the video stand out. Um, but it also adds to this sense of realism because we're not cutting away to other things. We're just seeing her walking. So it feels very much like this is a real street and these are real people and these are real things happening. Other members of the Massive Attack band are seen in the background. So for example, are at the phone booth and then pushing a cart. So the, the members of the band are kind of part of the background, part of the narrative. So I suppose representing them as being part of this street life culture. This video was made in 1991, um, it was set in LA, it's part of the trip hop genre um, and I suppose this is quite conventional, this social realist feel, this kind of quite gritty, real, quite melancholic and sad dystopian view of the world was quite conventional for that kind of trip hop genre at the time and certainly of um, you know low budget songs, this was only the band's second song um, so, you know, they were still working with a very low budget. So uh, that perhaps is one reason for the kind of more realist representations within the video. It does have some postmodern elements as well. So, for example, they do sample quite a lot of songs, as is quite conventional within the trip hop genre. Uh, so they sample some stuff from Parade Strut by J.J. Johnson. Uh, some of the vocals, the hey hey part of the vocals is sampled from um, uh, a planetary citizen song. And so there is some sampling going on, but again, that's quite conventional of the style of music. And certainly the video does reflect what certain American streets in LA were like in the 1990s. There was a lot of drugs. There was a lot of homelessness. I mean, there still is, don't get me wrong. Things haven't really changed, but certainly this was something that perhaps people were becoming more aware of at the time. So that was my easy to understand guide to the massive attack song Unfinished Sympathy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos that are going to be relevant for you. And if you would like a video that I don't already have, just leave a little comment below and I'll see what I can do.